Skip Bell is out at FS1 oh. this summer oh. after eight years undisputed. I mean, people call it a bombshell. Like, dude, I was expecting this to happen at some point because have you guys seen the ratings on this fucking show since Shannon left? I actually I just said it wasn't Keyshawn doing Johnson too well. Thing on there. Huh? He's terrible. Say it again, though. Keyshawn Johnson? What, what about him? He's terrible on that show. Keyshawn in general is terrible. I'm I think he was Keyshawn. doing I think he was doing the best with what he was what he had with Keyshawn. I mean Keyshawn. I'm not talking about skip. Because I like the players commenting on the games personally. They tried. I mean, um, no, but Keyshawn was commenting on basketball, and he's not a basketball player. Come on. I think he. I think he played. He. I think he was like one of those dual players growing up. You know, he just chose Bro, football. The show after. I'll be honest, with you, I was one of those guys. I watched it until Shannon. When Shannon left, I didn't watch it anymore. For the simple fact. Oh, me too. It, like Skip, this is called karma for him. Yeah. He wants to walk around like his nuts are fucking ten feet tall. And once your money guy left, now look at you. You 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 pushed your way out when Steven when you were with Stephen Ants on first take, got your ass humbled. Then you go create your own show, thinking you're just like Stephen A. Then a guy comes up like Shannon, who that's your money guy. That's the guy who's bringing in the money for you. All you gotta do is just ride along, shut your mouth, and just go with it. No, you don't like some of the things he's saying. That whole take about Tom Brady and and Shannon with the whole Super Bowl thing. I don't know if you guys caught that. That's where it ended for them. Yeah. And once that happened, Shannon Shannon knew. He said Shannon said himself. He's like, once that that episode happened, he knew he was on his way out because he knew Skip just couldn't take it anymore because he wasn't the guy. He wasn't the number one guy, which he he never was. He wasn't with Stephen A. Well, he, he was a with, while. Well, well, so Skip. I, I will say to Skip Bill says that someone who actually follows media very closely for years, um, Skip did for a while have a bit of the. Uh, the pulse of the sports media landscape for a good while until about 2013, 2014. Once Stephen A got came back after getting fired by ESPN, came back in 2010, Skip rehired actually helped was was actually instrumental in, in Stephen A getting his job back. And they did a good job for a couple of years. But my issue with Skip, and I think this is why this, this happened. Skip Bayless lives, lives in a bubble. Skip Bayless, if you, look, if you look at his social media, for example, look at his Twitters, look at his uh Instagram accounts. He doesn't follow anybody. Mm-hmm. No, he, like he he has how many, how many followers he has, and he follows nobody. He doesn't have a bubble, so he has he has his his certain way of doing things and saying things, and this is what it is. He's never grown from that. His whole yeah. shtick, and this is what sad about Skip Bayless. He actually knows the sports. He knows the sports. No, he does. I, I, I remember Skip. I remember Skip back way way back when we, on Cold Pizza, and even before that, he used to be mm-hmm. a, a cop, Dallas Cowboys uh, reporter for a long time. And mm-hmm. he knows the sports. Skip Bayless all online became a cat 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 of himself. Um, and he just became a cartoon character at some point. And the whole LeBron thing was just, I mean, the thing That's is, what thing, really that made him famous though. That put him out. Made there. Him famous, but he, he he never pivoted, dude. And the thing is also too, it, it's okay to have certain takes, but when you even when things change and you still have the same take anyway, like come on. Now, now, that's now what, but that's why the LeBron thing made him famous because look, he had the same take. His whole look, thing was he. This guy will never win a ring. Then when he won back to back, right. That's why I like think right. Nick Wright yeah, has takes, like, but he will he will pivot on takes if things are changed. Like remember him he, being yeah. He never tough pivoted. On Jokic. Remember me on top of Jokic until he got his ring, and then once Jokic won his ring, he pivoted. They asked him on first take, Skip Bayless. Like once LeBron won that first ring, he uh, Stephen A was like, "Are you going to apologize to him now?" He's like, "No, no," because he didn't win it. Dwayne Wade did. He said something like Chris would say. It was just, you know, it was just blasphemy. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to say this. First of all, I don't want to see nobody lose their job. But <laughs> That's true. That's true. But he dug his, like, kind of what you guys saying. I see him grave. digging in his own grave. Because it's like he, 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 he hit a point of not being impartial. In my opinion, that's why I stopped watching them because I'm like, okay, now you brought up the. You're gonna let it go. Just say you were wrong. You know, yeah. just be like, hey, I gotta bring you on. You can't come. You can't come on and talk about how Tom Brady could never do no wrong. LeBron drops fifty or sixty, but t- Tom Brady lost the game. Mm-hmm. But LeBron is still a bomb. You know, it's like be fair. Right. And that's where he lost a lot of people 
like myself, you know, like it's like, yes, you do know your sports, but you know, just a little you, harder. You just gotta be fair because that's yeah. you know, I'm not watching a soap opera. We we when I watch it, I'm watching it to you know to get some some real um sports an analyzation going on. I don't you know I don't want I don't want it to be off your feelings. Now again, if LeBron drops 60, no matter what I say about LeBron, before that, I'm like, man, he he went off. He did. I mean, like, he, oh, he, it was luck, or it was because of this guy and that guy. No, you gotta give him his props. And that's where he lost a lot of people, definitely with me. I, you know, I mean, I don't care if he's there or not there. You know, I feel like we get better content outside of ESPN these days, you know. Oh, absolutely. No question. Yeah. yeah. I don't really watch First Take and, and Undisputed anymore. I just – I find I watch it – once in a while. Huh? I watch First Take still a little bit, but in clips, though. And I watch it in – not now when there's no sports going on. When Maybe when football season starts up again. Um, then I will, but now it's just like it's just different now. It was it was a lot better maybe when you know the Golden State era days and the Miami Heat era days. Like I actually look forward to like seeing it. Like oh, let me hear what these clowns is talking about today. But right. now it's just it's just different. I don't know. It's just I just don't I don't find it as entertaining. It's just bias. They they beat up on. I, I see a lot of beating up on black athletes. That too. And and massaging. Um, uh, um, other athletes, you know. So if a black athlete does something that is wrong, it's like, you know, tear him up. He shouldn't have this contract, you know. Yeah, and you know, we ain't gonna talk about Stephen. I like Stephen A. Smith, you know, but some things he do, you know, I understand why he left. Uh, what's his name? But. You know, I just I just so feel like, like have the same have the money, same though. energy. Just have the same energy for everyone. That's all I want is just be just be fair. That's it. You know what I, I like mean? Stephen, I do. I do. I watch him. I watch Who's that? I watch his podcast as well. Who's that? But my but Stephen my thing a. is oh, I do too. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, but my thing is, you know, what what's his name? Uh Skip Bayless. If if Ben Roethlisberger got caught up with some chick. And I you, remember that. That was crazy. And, and, and you closed lip about him. that, but he, then when it comes to he crucified Ray Lewis, Kobe, though, he crucified Kobe. Mm -hmm. When yeah. that whole shit came out with Kobe and uh, the whole shit with his wife and all that other shit, crucified yeah. him. But then when the whole shit with Ben Roethlisberger supposedly raped that white girl or whatever, boy, defended Nothing. him. Yeah, I, I don't think it's racism necessarily either. Is it? I just no, I don't. He's but dumb. I just like, he, like Chris right. was saying, you gotta be fair. Yeah, yeah, just be fair. But the thing is, when we talk about racism, right? What does a racist look like? It can look like anybody. Does, does somebody have to like walk up to you and call you the N-word or no walk up to you and racism just say can I come know. from ignorance? It, it, it can look like racism. Sometimes it's just ignorance. Could it could it be that people show you their biases on a daily basis? They, they favor it. one over the other. That's part of it. Part. Maybe they grew up that way too. Maybe they don't know. So, Again, ignorance. They don't know no so, better. They don't. They just so, don't know. So if Skip Bayless can read, and no, no offense to you, Skip, if you watch this, <laughs> if you can read as a journalist, and you have an article, and you have everything that says Ben Roethlisberger is potentially a rapist. And then you get another thing about a, a black athlete and doing rough th that's being accused of the same thing. Are you treating it the same? If you're not, are you racist? I think that's up to the public to decide that. Everybody has their I, own I interpretation. I I, you know, so I, don't, I don't remember the Ross Burger thing with Skip Bayless. I'm checking it out now. See with the whole it. with the whole rapist, the white girl thing. Yeah, I'm trying, no, I remember Ross Burger. I remember, well, Skip Bayless part I'm saying. Oh, okay. Uh, no, he, he he was closed lipped about it. He was trying to say, well, we don't know all the facts, but when it's an other athlete, oh, they should. They, I wouldn't have him on my team before he got all the facts. You know, 
It's mm-hmm. like, again, just do, just be fair. You know what I mean? That's why I stopped watching them. Like, yeah, you know, that's why I'm like, I'm about to probably cancel my cable because it's a waste of money. <laughs> Yeah. You know, it was like, you know, I only get it for ESPN, TNT, and stuff like that. Like, I, I just start, start streaming everything. Yeah. You know, but. Yeah. Real, but yeah. quick, uh, real quick, real um, quick. We get out of here because we've been on almost two and a half hours. Um, any predictions for Skip Bells? You, you think you'll see him anywhere else? If so, where? Uh, I, I have it's going to be early morning. I would say get up, but that's, I don't, I don't, ESPN ESPN again, not, ESPN. I don't think they're going to fuck with him. I don't think ESPN's fucking with him, so. I would say if he has a shot, it'd be get up. I don't, I don't, I don't. Well, see get up, get up is ESPN though, so that's, that's yeah. doing a guest spot there on, on, not on like the a, yeah, like house. a guest spot. That's about it. I don't see anywhere else. He's even. He's damn sure not going back to first take. <laughs> no, no. Uh, I think, I think, I think um, he's going to do like some of these other guys. His shelf life is up. I yeah. think. He might just want to retire. I already said, retire. and he yeah. could, he could do his own pod. You know, he could that's do that. Too. Look, look what Shannon I did. Think, I don't think no major network's gonna do take take him on. Look, look what I Shannon think. did with his podcast, but he yeah. can't do what Shannon did. There's no way. No, he, he doesn't have that. He, so he there's only so many, he don't have so that so many times exactly. you could bring Lil Wayne on. Yeah. So Skip Skip does have his own po- <laughs> Skip does have, have his own podcast. I'm sure he has the rights to it. Also, it's under FS1, you know, uh, umbrella. But I'm sure he has the rights to it the same way Shannon Sharp had Cole Shay Shay and took it out of there. Um, mm-hmm. So he does have his own podcast. I do think he'll continue doing stuff on an independent basis. I'm sure there'll be some play, some other like you know, he'll be uh, all podcast right. company will pick him up. Uh, some, he'll, he'll find a home somewhere else because he has it. He still has a name. I just think his shelf life as a as the tippy top mainstream guy, his relevance is definitely nowhere where it was ten years ago. No, yeah, and and, and what messed him up mostly, I think uh, Trey brought it up earlier. Is that Shannon situation. That Shannon situation. Oh, yeah. And the thing up. was, let's say his ratings stayed okay and Shannon didn't blow up. So now the network's looking at him like you 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 know how much money you cost us up. with Shannon? You yeah. messed this up with this whole Shannon shit. Skip, Skip was the one that told them, Hey, get this guy off my show. Like obviously he mm-hmm. didn't say it like that, but that's essentially what happened. He because it, it was Skip's show. Hey, it is Skip's show. Um yeah, and I think also that's part of the whole thing with the whole self awareness thing about Skip, not not living in a bubble. Mm-hmm. I think in his mind he thought he was still king shit of the of the media he space, and he, I don't think he realized that Shannon Trump was already surpassed him. That and was no his one realized that. Yeah, he, he was smart. He, he would have just let him do what he wanted to do. Yeah, he was just being too cocky. Like you, you know. And, and the thing is, when you have a real athlete, you know, especially how he disrespected him. It's like, yeah, you can't come back. Like, dude, how many Super Bowls you won? Yeah, yeah. Shout out to how many, how many, and how many pro games you played? And I, you, I gonna, gonna you gonna come at me and, and try to sun me on national TV? Yeah, I, I thought and when he know. left and he blew up on his own, mm-hmm. and now they're looking at him like he's like, oh, I'm gonna get Lil Wayne. I'm gonna change the the theme music. We are gonna have it rap music because that's what the the. You know, people like and blah blah blah. Well, listen, it's, it's karma. That's what you get when you're talking to a proven, a, a like proven Hall of Fame, a proven Hall of Fame champion. You telling him you'll never be what Tom Brady is and this and that. But I'm like, well, yeah, he obviously won't. But hold on, he's not a slouch. It's it's fucking Shannon Sharp. It's a Hall of Famer. Yeah. Yeah. That's a Super Bowl yeah. champ. Like, relax. Yeah, exactly. All right, fellas.